Hey everybody, Amy here with 100 Plus Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida. I wanted to take a moment to update everybody on, on Dalton. So I'm going to wait just a bit because when I start updating, then all these people start jumping on and they're asking me for updates. They've missed it and I have to keep repeating. So I'm going to just wait just a few minutes for people to jump on and then I'm going to update everybody on our sweet Dalton. If you could just let me know that I'm clear, I would so appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, Michelle from Australia. We have been getting a lot. Hi, Amy. We have been getting a lot of people um, emailing, sending private messages. And of course, I totally understand you've all eagerly been waiting for an update on on Dalton. Everybody is so invested on in Dalton. <clears throat> thank you, Vanessa. Thank you. And thank you, Vanessa, so much, Moreno, for your kind message. You are one of many that reached out to me. Um, I know my video was raw and it was from my heart and it was very emotional. Um, and I just want to say thank you. It's dark. Okay, hold on one second. Um, I just want to say thank you for all of you that showed concern and, and, you know, I really, really, really appreciate it. Okay, that should be a little bit. Is that better? Okay. I am home. And I am heading back to the rescue house soon. Um, so this is my opportunity to basically just kind of sneak away in my private room um, at home. And I can update everybody without a lot of distractions. Yes, it's nighttime here. I don't know exactly what time it is, but it's after 8 p.m. here. <sighs> Is that better though? I turn the light up. It's still dark right now. Thanks, Christine. <laughs> it's my bed that I very rarely get to see. Okay, is it clear and can you see me? I'm going to continue. We have about 168 people right now that are watching. Okay, it's okay. Good. Um, okay, everybody listen. So I know yesterday we were dealing with um, a lot of options for Dalton and all these different things were being thrown at me. Um, different doctors, different surgeons. Um, so I, I, I don't know what you last heard, uh, basically last night, uh, we were told that he needed to go in to repair a tear, a tear in the bladder. Um, well that all changed. So after I spoke to the surgeon at Coral Springs, this is how it's, this is what I'm, why I'm saying it's been driving me absolutely insane. Um, after speaking to the surgeon at Coral Springs who did his actual surgery on his FHO to repair his leg, uh, after he was hit by a car, which I found out outside of a, um, I think it was a, a fire department. Um, that's where he was hit and the, the fire department had brought him into Lauderdale veterinary specialists. So, he was healing from the FHO surgery. They found as he was healing his tissue um, in between his legs, around his groin and his scrotum uh, were very, very tender and very, very, very swollen. Uh, they were then, of course, concerned he was trickling urine, um, that he was not emptying his bladder on his own with a healthy stream. So <clears throat> they were afraid of um, the narcotics, narcotics tissue uh, they were talking about all kinds of crazy things. So all these different ideas were thrown at me every time I spoke to a different doctor. So this morning, um, last night when Tiffany had dropped him off, I had spoken to Dr. 
uh, Cannon and Dr. Babitsky. Dr. Babitsky, who I love, 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 have the utmost respect for. In my eyes, she's one of the best surgeons I know. She operated on so many of our dogs. Uh, Murphy is one that she saved, and it was a very challenging surgery um, to, to, to save Murphy's life. And it was amazing what she performed. So with that being said, she is now a traveling surgeon. She does not work at Lauderdale Veterinary Specialist anymore. And in fact, Lauderdale Veterinary Specialist does no longer have a surgeon on hand. So he could not receive surgery at that hospital, which is why we initially picked him up and took him to Coral Springs. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about his medical, and then we can go into that later. So um, Dr. Dr. Babetsky and Dr. Cannon both discussed this in great lengths, and they both agreed that Dalton, no way and no how, could handle um, the surgery where they basically go in and crack open your pelvis to get to the actual tear and there was no guarantees that they would even be able to get to that tear where it was positioned. They might even have to cut bone. And after speaking to Coral Springs Animal Hospital surgeon, she agreed that that would be a horrible surgery on him. Very, 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 very long and painful recovery and with no guarantee success. So our other option was they were having a very hard time getting a catheter in him, which would relieve all the urine from his bladder and hopefully allow him to heal with the urine eliminating. Does this make sense? The, the urine elim eliminating from the body, um, but they could not get the catheter. So <clears throat> they were going in this morning. I finally got the surgeon on the phone, Dr. Capanelli, um, from Coral Springs Animal Hospital, wonderful, wonderful person, wonderful surgeon. She has no control of the money aspect on that side. Her heart is beautiful and she's a fantastic surgeon. Um, I was on the phone with her and Tiffany had called in and I brought Tiffany in this morning on the phone call and I think it was about 10 o'clock this morning. I had called four times before I actually could get her on the phone. So <clears throat> with myself and the surgeon and Tiffany, I wanted somebody else to hear it. I wanted somebody else's input. I, I just couldn't handle this all being on me and my decision. I wanted an extra set of ears and an extra brain while we were discussing the options. So Tiffany was on the phone with me and the surgeon. And after speaking in great lengths, we all agreed, just go in. Um, and what they do is they get the catheter from the bladder, uh, and she, you know, she said, Amy, there's no guarantees. And I said, listen, all you can do is the best you can do. So she was taking him into surgery this afternoon. She took him into surgery this afternoon and I was holding my breath. Everybody was holding their breath. I finally got the call from her that the surgery was a success. They were able to pass the catheter throughout the, out the bladder and he is resting comfortably. He's not eating tonight, which is very common. He had to be sedated. Um, but he is resting comfortably. The bladder is being emptied through the catheter and he needs to keep this in for about a week where we're praying to God that the tissue, that the tear will eventually heal and he will be able to urinate. Now, this is, like I said, there's no guarantee, but I am going to only think and stay positive that it will heal. And when they remove the catheter, that we're going to be in a good position. Um, so I just want everybody to understand something that this isn't, this is wonderful news. It is a definite step in the, in a, in the positive direction. Um, I want to tell each and every one of you, thank you, because I mean this without you, I, myself, my team, we would not have been able to do, I don't know where we would have come up with the funds to properly give Dalton this chance to save his life. Um, I know you see all of this through us. I know you watch the videos, you feel it. 
you're right there. I know it. I see the comments. I get the, the, the private messages, the text messages. Um, so I know, but I will tell you, I know that if you could be here with me, you would be, uh, obviously that's not possible. Uh, so that's why I take you along every single journey with us from raw. So you can be there with us. And for me, for me, when I saw after my video that I did last night, standing in my kitchen, crying my eyes out from my heart and begging for help. When I shut down that video, I was already crying. I was, I was a mess. And when I actually shut it down, I, I took a minute and I watched it and I started reading all the comments from all of you. And when I tell you, I was walking around my kitchen by myself and crying and talking out loud saying, wow, am I one lucky person? Am I blessed to have the most, in my eyes, the most amazing, amazing group of loving, wonderful people like yourselves that restore my faith in humanity every single day. And I will not lie to you. I am that person that walks around saying, I can't stand people. I despise people. And it made me start to think I maybe should not say that so often because that is not the truth. Because if I really felt that way, I would not be saying this to all of you. There are 176 people that are watching this video as I am sitting here on my bed in my house, in my home, and I am opening up to you. I am, I, I, we, I love you so much too, Nancy. Thank you. Um, I want to, I, there were so many of you that donated, so many of you that donated. I would like to say Kimberly Wells, Kimberly adopted two dogs from us years ago, and I have not really had much communication. I wasn't even sure if Kimberly even still followed 100 plus. And then I saw a comment and I saw her donation of $200. So Kimberly, I love you and your husband, and thank you for adopting our two beautiful baby babies. And I am so happy to know that you are still following. Um, and I want to say thank you to uh, Susan Asowich. Susan made a trip over today to our rescue house and she wrote a check for $500 to our organization. And her heart is so beautiful. It's not even about the money, um, which we're so grateful for. But her heart is so beautiful. Her love, her support um, is just so beautiful. Um, hi, Kimberly. I see who I love you too. It really hit me hard when I saw your name because we haven't spoken so long and I'm like, oh my God, she does still love us. Um, thank you, Kimberly, so much, so much. And I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying just one person. I'm thanking all of you. It's just Susan Ho. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Pauline and Mabel and all of you. I got phone calls from people from different states that wanted to make a $10 donation, a $20 donation. Um, it's just so beautiful. And it's so overwhelming. And one thing I got was, you know, I was talking to Carol about it. And I said, Carol, I'm so overwhelmed with the love and how blessed we are to have all these amazing people that support our mission and that allow us to continue. And she says, Amy, just always remember one thing and it's always be kind and stay humble. And it's funny because I bought this beautiful poster or picture and it's hanging over my toilet <laughs> in the rescue house number two. And that's what it says. It says, stay kind and always humble. So I want to tell you something. I will always do my best to stay kind. I will to dogs. I will try to work on people. Um, I love good people and I love like-minded people like myself and like all of you. So um, I will say I 
I know all of you when I see you on there and you you go to bat for us when a person comes on here and makes a nasty comment. As a matter of fact, Susan Ho, <laughs> I love you. Uh, so she tagged me in a comment because somebody was like, oh, there she is with her face on camera. We don't need to see your face, meaning me, that she was attacking me because she didn't want to look at my face i'm sorry that you don't want to look at my face um but that's what you've got you've got this face and you've got the dogs and you've got my team so um it was very disrespectful i wasn't nasty i just came back at her but of course no response um but <laughs> what i will say is if you don't want to look at my face i'm sorry you're stuck with me and this is how i communicate with all of you um, yes, Brian Van Tassel, my dear friend, my dear, beautiful friend, Brian, how we love you, how we love and adore your beautiful heart. He called in a very generous donation and we are so grateful. Um, Brian and I built a friendship and spoke many hours on the phone. Um, we have not spoken in a while, but it's so wonderful to know that he's still watching and still supporting um we love you brian and we so appreciate you and your big beautiful heart um <laughs> uh let's see yeah okay jean elizabeth stop <laughs> you guys are too much trolls everywhere listen we don't feed into the negativity um as a matter of fact what i do is instead of just blocking and deleting i like to respond and then i see what comes back if nothing that person will be deleted um she will be blocked from our page there's honestly there's so much ugly and sad in the world i mean why would we even want that on our our loving beautiful rescue page where we are working together as a huge village to save so many lives in need that suck every ounce of energy from us do we really need any negativity i truly picture those people very sad and i i pray for them because they're very sad individuals and i picture them behind their keyboard in their moo moo nightgown eating bonbons and just are very lonely and sad um and full of ugly hate and i don't want those people around me um that is my choice that is my choice. But regardless, let's leave that part alone and let's all focus on, she came back. Oh, really, Susan? Okay, I will, thank you. I didn't see that. I've been very busy saving lives today. Um, I will delete her and block her. <clears throat> what I will say um, is one other thing. I want to update all of you while I have you here. Um, it's just, it's, it's never, it's just, doesn't end okay so the good note the good note is that Dalton is resting comfortably the catheter surgery procedure was a success now we all have to pray and hope and pray that it heals and he's going to be okay um, and then he won't need any more further procedures because he's been through so much second um, I'm so upset you know our bonded little adorable pair Allie and Noah, that I chose the names from the notebook, the little love, love affair with the two of them. They are perfection. And I swear to you, um, the, the, they are the best. I honestly have to say this. They're two of the best dogs I've ever laid my hands on. They are perfection in every way. And they both came back. He's two and she's four years of age. They both came back hot, warm, positive. I am beside myself. Um, you know, Birdie came back hot, warm, positive. She's adopted, so going through treatment. We, you know, we have Rocky hot, warm, positive. Um, little Jack, the senior that we pulled while you were all watching us at the Miami Day Kill Shelter. Uh, little Jack went in because he wasn't feeling well. He was coughing and bile was coming up, so we took him in. He got x-rays today. They sedated him, um, and they're waiting on the x-rays. So, he woke up and he's okay. Um, I don't know if he ate yet. Shelly and Keith were going to try to feed him tonight. Um, and I will be going to the rescue house shortly to do the late night for rescue house one. <clears throat> so what I'm saying to you is we have our hands full. Rocky. Rocky is hot, warm, positive. Correct. Um, so now we have Rocky. We have Allie. We have Birdie. And we have... Noah. And guys, these are young dogs with these poor dogs living on the streets without being on prevention, heartworm prevention. 
now they're, they're going through, I don't know if you all understand what heartworm, but worms are basically smothering their heart. Um, it's heartbreaking, heartbreaking. So obviously we still have a lot of responsible medical bills that are going to be adding up and adding up. Um, it just never stops for us. And when we go and these rescue these dogs from the kill shelter or the streets, we don't know. We, we're not going to say no to them, but we have to be prepared, um, you know, to, to take, give them whatever they need. Yes, you can treat heartworm in two different methods. Um, the, the HS, the Humane Society, HSUS, they don't believe in the slow kill. We have done the slow kill with several dogs and it has been a success. Powder was a success. Leslie, who adopted our grasshopper, one of the Tampa Five, um, who else was there? Um, I don't know. There were, there were a few, uh, but we did do the aggressive, um, oh, um, Winston, Winston, uh, I was talking to Bob about their Winston. They decided to do the slow because he had a horrible reaction. It's very, very hard on the dog. It's a big, thick needle, um, that they have to inject. It's almost like a chemo for cancer. It's, it's hard. It's really hard on the dog. Not all dogs, but most. Um, we just treated Sparkle. Sparkle just got her first injection. Um, so Wendy's leg is being assessed. Yes, she has an appointment uh, this week. And then, um, so we were supposed to neuter a little Noah tomorrow. But unfortunately, you're not supposed to put a dog under anesthesia um, if you can help it, which all the shelters do, um, to be while they're going through heartworm uh, treatment. So we canceled his neuter, and so big boy Braun, our save from the Miami Day Kill Shelter, the six to eight month old that stole, grabbed my heart with his eyes and his paws crossed like when you were watching me at the shelter, that boy is getting neutered tomorrow. So I am going to be taking him in in the morning. Um, Shelly and Keith, I will call you or I'll see you tonight before you leave. But if you get this and you see or watching this video, no food or water after midnight tonight. So everything has to be picked up in his room so he can have surgery tomorrow and be neutered. No, it does not ever end. It never ends. But this is the, this is the path and this is the journey that I chose. Um, yes, uh, Simba did go to the vet. Uh, he has ear infections. He's on ear meds. He's great. He's perfection. Uh, I did call back one of the people that inquired about him, Michelle, um, from Ormond Beach, and she was working tonight, and her phone was going to die, so she's supposed to call me tomorrow. Uh, there was another person that um, inquired. I haven't had a chance to talk. Um, <clears throat> Sim Sabre. Yes, Sabre's adopted, Yvette. Yes, he did, by one of our very wonderful volunteers, Carrie, who was the foster. It was a foster failure within a week. It was beautiful, and she loves him loves him and once she gets her fence up he's gonna need a little friend to play with um it is it's called kathy moore it's called the starfish uh it's basically try you know when you're trying to rescue these dogs it's just you just keep going and going and going and you feel like you're never really making a dent but in the big picture but truthfully you have to remember think you have, you're making a difference in all those animals that you touched, dog, cat, whatever it may be. So, um, you know, if you look at it and it, it sucks you in and it, it's, you can't because then you're going to stop. You're going to become overwhelmed. Oh, I'm not making a difference. I'm done. I'm going to go and enjoy my life. No, that's not an option here. We are making a huge difference. I don't know if we're over 4,000 or close to 4,000, um, but we're going to keep going and going. That's why we opened a second rescue house. Um, we are changing lives, not only with dogs, but people, I get it all the time and it's a beautiful thing. It's beautiful. So, uh, rocking snow, Mia, love her. She's my new best friend. <laughs> Mia, if you're watching, love you. Um, she came to meet them. She loves them. Uh, it's a holiday this weekend. So she, we're going to work on hopefully next weekend and uh, get Rocky and Snow over to her house and see how her dogs um, ex accept them. She has three littles at home. So we will see. Um, I don't want to get anybody's hopes up, but she said, I hope and pray it's them. But if not, um, I have room for a bonded pair. So uh, Waffle and Bryson were no good, uh, not a fit. Uh, they were literally grabbing her pants <laughs> for some reason. They just didn't hit it off. 
Um, but she loved, loved, loved Rocky and Snow. Loved them. So we'll see. Let's see. I'm just looking. It's in Mia is Shemaya, Shemaya, whatever, Shemay. Um, just so everybody knows, her name is Mia. Um, and Stacy, Mia is going to be dropping off a bunch of beads and things. She has a lot of things to donate for Stacy and Jamie Valcourt that make our beautiful bracelets. Um, bracelets, keychains. Uh, you go to Jam Jewelry, Jamie's Jewelry Made with um, Love Facebook page. And every penny goes to our rescue. When I tell you how proud I am of my bracelet, I'm going to show you really quick before my phone dies. I'm not plugged in for a change. Hold on. Wait a second. But this is mine. Um, hold on. And basically, if you can see this, it is a wrap. It's, it's like a slinky. And you just wrap it. It's so awesome. It's gorgeous. Everywhere I go, I get compliments on this. And you can pick any colors you want. I personally, I love silver. So it has all of my pet's names on it. So when I wear this on my wrist, I am walking around with all of my babies. on. I, I, it's like my favorite, favorite. Um, so every penny goes to our organization. So thank you, Jamie and Stacy, for all the love and the work that you put in to, to helping us raise funds so we can continue. Uh, I'm just sorry, guys. I'm just looking through the comments. Um, sleep and bathe in mine. <clears throat> Susie and Sam are still with us after being on Kiss Country, live video, talking on the radio. They're wonderful for having us and allowing us to be heard through them. Um, but zero, nothing. We got nothing. Not even a phone call, not even an email. So they are still, still waiting, still waiting. Gage and Godiva, still waiting. Albert, still waiting. Um, Chloe, Chloe is killing me. She's killing me. When I tell you this dog is destroying all of us. Um, she has major separation anxiety. She desperately needs somebody that I've been receiving emails from people out of state, different countries. Guys, it's not going to happen. She's a, she's a very sensitive dog. She needs somebody that is either retired um, or works from home. She, I'm telling you, she, I'm going to start her on Prozac tonight. I think the poor thing is tormented in her own head. I know Bichons are like this anyway. She is the sweetest. She's gorgeous. She's healthy. Um, but I'm telling you, she, she needs somebody. She's not doing well at our house. It is destroying us to watch her. So Chloe needs a home and she needs somebody that understands. Listen, and when I get the email, is she potty trained? Listen, she may pee on your rug. She may poop on your floor. I don't know. That's what rescue dogs do. Um, you can't give up on them. You have to be patient. And they've been through so much. Think about it. She was tossed out by her owner on the side of the road with her 13-year-old sister, um, who her sister Angel got adopted. And when they got together, because they were neighbors that adopted, um, Angel went after her. So that wasn't her fault. Uh, the, the adopter that gave her back and returned her to us after five months when everything was wonderful um, until last minute, we can't deal with the anxiety. Okay, so now give up on her so she's back with us. Um, it's, it's very sad. Very, very sad. I'm, not, I, I'm just, it, we've got to find her a home. She is a Velcro dog who wants to be in your lap. She will literally jump up on your lap. She will stare at you. She will cuddle with you. She will follow you everywhere. What can I tell you? You've, there has to be somebody local. I'm not going to ship that. First of all, we don't ship dogs. Second of all, I am not going to send this dog off far, far away. So then if it doesn't work out, then I have to worry about, oh my God, how am I going to get my dog back? When tough cases are like this, it's my job to protect them. I'm sorry. That's how I feel. Um... And I can't. I just can't. I don't think people understand. When I say separation anxiety, I mean separation anxiety. If any of you are not aware, uh, look. Uh, Amy, she may be good with other dogs. We would need to do a meet and greet. So if anybody's willing and has another small, calm, sweet dog, we're open. We'll do a meet and greet. We're open to it. So please um, share with your friends, share with your family, try to help us find her a home, please. 
it is 9-11 and ooh, I am going to um, head back to the rescue house and uh, I have state, I have Lisa and Carol. They are there putting up a second gazebo for us because the sales didn't work um, at the rescue house too. I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking they're still there unless they're amazing and they finished it within an hour. So I'm gonna head back over there and then from there, I'm gonna go to rescue house one and I'm gonna do the late night shift of getting all the dogs out um, for their last peepees. Um, we still have Bryson and Waffle. No, White Waffle and Bryson are great together. They're not great with new dogs, so I'm not going to stress her out with that. They're big barkers. Um, she's not. She's very quiet. Um, uh, we love you too, Maria. We love all of you. Thank you. Again, this video was for me to say thank you and to update you on Dalton, but I thought it was a great time to update you on everybody. Hi, babe. <laughs> update you. Carol's sitting over there watching me. Um, update you on everybody. So somebody last night said, can I see your babies? I'm going to show you my babies really quick, and I'm signing off before my phone dies. First eye kiss. What? This is the first eye kiss dog ever of 100 plus. This is, this is our Diamond. Diamond, do you want to show everybody how you give mommy hugs? Hmm? You want to show everybody how you hug mommy all night long? and hold her that's diamond mm -hmm. and this is my maggie mm -hmm. hi maggie maggie was rescued from a chicken coop when i first started 100 plus she's about nine now and she was two when i rescued huh oh there she is this is this is what i look at all night long that's it that's carol and diamond that's, that's carol everyone's saying hi say hi, hi everybody that's carol and diamond this is our chill time sitting on the couch with the babies here is my little Wilton, my senior, that I rescued, getting ready to go on to a 100 plus rescue in the Everglades. Say hi, Wilton, everybody. Say hi, Wilton. He's a little old man. Wilton, and I did his DNA, and he's part Maltese, he's part Beagle. <laughs> what else are you? What else are you, Wilty? Tell everybody. What? And where's Brody? Say hi, Brody. Homer. Homer. Brody was Homer. He was found, was it Little Haiti, babe? Yeah. Little Haiti. Or Havana. Or Havana, one of those places in Miami that we took him in. Six years ago. Six years ago. Almost six years. Bobo, are, are you the mayor of my house and you need a haircut because he can't see your eyes? He won't let me trim his eyes. He won't let me shave him. He's he's a brat. He's the biggest brat, right? Wil Wilton is adorable, isn't he? Say hi, Wilton. Hi, Wilton. <laughs> So, and we have a cat, Vita, Vivi. She's around here somewhere. But anyways, guys, our house is just pillows for the dogs everywhere where they can just make themselves comfy and blankets and beds. And this is it. There's no, there's no fancy schmancy here. We have our TV here. This is our life. This is it. <laughs> it's nothing fancy, but we're very happy and we're very grateful for all the things that we do have um and all i can say is thank you to each and every one of you for your love your kind words of support reaching out and for donating um that's my update for this evening thursday evening it's 9 15 and um love you guys so much i'll keep you posted on dalton um, his update, I called before I went live, that he was actually resting comfortably, uh, would not eat this evening, which is not crazy, nothing to worry about due to he just had surgery. So um, that's it. Everybody have a beautiful night. And uh, I may go live from the rescue house if there's a lot of activity going on with the girls out there putting the gazebo up. But if not, then I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody, and thank you so very much for my heart and my 100 plus heart, their hearts, and we're just so grateful. So, good night, and thank you.